we are starting the new year off right with an unboxing video. We've got the Anthem MRX 740 AV receiver. Hey folks, I'm Gene Nellisala with Audioholics. It's time I unbox the MRX 740. It's been a while since I've benchmarked an Anthem product. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Anthem STR series. I actually still use those in my two-channel rig. Measured state-of-the-art performance. They sound great. I wanted to check out an Anthem AV receiver. This is in the middle of their lineup, the MRX 740. The retail on it's $28.99. It has seven internal amplifiers built in, 140 watts of channel times five, 60 watts of channel times two, but it has 11 channels of processing, two subwoofer outputs, and it supports IMAX enhanced, obviously Atmos, DTSX. So let's see what's in the box. And then I will be doing follow-up videos because this is a whole new platform for Anthem. The user interface is different from what we've seen in the past. They actually don't have a GUI anymore. It's all done through a web interface. And that's kind of a trend we're seeing with a lot of products these days is to do web interface inter um, setup. A lot of advantages to that. So inside the box, nicely packed here. see what we got. The first thing we are greeted with is their remote control. So one thing that really attracts me to an Anthem product is the Arc Genesis room correction. I like the fact that it's all done through your PC and why that's an advantage, several reasons why, is more processing power. Uh, you could do more things with the curves and everything. Um, but if you don't have this AV receiver in the same location as your D as your TV, where your speakers are, it's not a problem. A lot of receivers, you have to plug a microphone into the front. This case, you plug the microphone into your laptop. You could remotely access this as long as you're on the same network as the AVR, and you could do your calibration from a different room where the receiver is not located, where your speakers are located. So that's a huge advantage for custom integrators or for anybody that's setting up a system where your receiver is not in the same room. So pretty pedestrian remote control. We'll take it out of the bag. I'm not really going to be using this because I do use control four. And my plan is to integrate this receiver into the AudioHawk smart house. We're going to try it in the bedroom system, which uses a Klipsch heritage sound bar, passive sound bar. Two in four in ceiling speakers and two JL Audio in ceiling subwoofers. So we're going to be running a 5.2.2 system in there. It looks like we got the Wi Fi antennas here. I'll put this down. So this is pretty nifty here, the little calibration. It. This is where all the magic happens. Now, Arc Genesis is the latest version of their Anthem room correction system, and they've been making tweaks on it. So, supposedly, this has a new microphone, it's supposed to be more accurate than the older microphones that they used. And in this, you get a calibrated microphone. Very nice, actually. It's much better than what you get with the standard run-of-the-mill receivers, like the little hockey puck with Yamaha does or the Odyssey microphone. This is a real microphone, and it has a calibration file that you basically put the serial number into the software, and it'll be calibrated for that. The other thing I like that Anthem does is, unlike the competitors, where they give you like a little cardboard where you put the microphone on, this is an actual real tripod, and if I can open it. So you get a real 
microphone stand. Pretty cool. And that's what I think a lot of fans out there really gravitate towards the brand is because they've had good luck with Anthem Arc. And I've done a video or two on it in the past for calibrating the bass, and I will be doing more on it when I do the formal review of this receiver. Of course, the power cord. So it's not a huge receiver, but it's pretty, pretty stout. I think it weighs are like 33 pounds. Now the MRX 740, as well as the rest of their lineup, is not HDMI 2.1, it's 2.0. But there is an upgrade path. And I don't have any of the information on that yet. So let's flip this around. It kind of looks like the STR, the faceplate on it. It has that nice glass flat faceplate. I like the fact that the volume control is not massive. You know, a lot of the receiver companies now, they're having like a war on how big they can make their volume controls. It's kind of like the car industry, how big they can make the front grill on their cars. You know, I think Lexus and Yamaha are kind of synonymous with each other because they're winning that race and how big they can make their volume control and their front fascia on their cars. So there you go. Let's take a look at the back. So the interesting thing about this receiver is it's 140 watts times 5, and then it's 60 watts times 2, and that's a Class D amp for the uh, height channels. So ultimately, if you really want to expand your system, you probably don't want to use, you want to use your own amplification. I mean, this has 11 channels of amplification. I'm going to be bench testing it. I'm, I'm going to guess that the 140 by 5 is pretty legit because their Anthem's pretty conservative with their amp ratings. And, you know, the 60 watts for the Atmos channels is probably sufficient for most installs, but you do have the ability to add external amplification here. I like the white silk screen here. It makes it much easier to read the connectors. I like the fact they have this ground chassis here. I guess if you want to do phono or if you just want to ground the receiver. It's very nicely laid out. Pretty minimalist. There's no legacy support for composite or component video, which is fine these days. But you do have optical and you do have coax digital and a detachable power cord. It's got an E-Core transformer in it, pretty decent sized transformer. I like the red circuit boards. I've always liked that about Anthem. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. So that's our unboxing. As I said, I'm gonna be doing bench test performance on this receiver. I'm gonna be doing setup videos and we're gonna do the ultimate integration into the AudiHawk Smart House. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audiohawks. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to ask questions or suggest video topics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. Ready? Ready. And we've got, looks like we've got two microphones here. This is awkward. Oh no, I'm sorry, these aren't the microphones. Let me, Let me get that off in there. <laughs>